welcome back to Alexa Style Book. Hope everybody has been doing well. In today's video, I wanted to do a comparison on two of my most beloved handbags, and they are the Chanel Business Affinity Flap versus the Chanel Jumbo Flap in Classic Flap. These are the two bags that are my most beloved in my collection. And the reason why I decided to do this comparison is I wanted to give you a better insights on two of the bags side by side. And also I thought that this video would be able to provide some more insightful information in the decision process whether you would want to choose which bag at this time. I am going to go into pricing in this video. I know a lot of people don't like pricing to be named in a video. but I didn't think that a comparison would be complete between the two bags without uh, naming the price. Alright, so let's quickly go into the measurements of both of these bags. I've already done a review video on both of them. I'm going to link it up here for you. If you're interested, please do check it out. The first one is going to be the Business Affinity. This is in the camel color and the measurements are that it is around 10.6 inches in length right here and about 7.9 inches in height. It is around 4.7 inches in depth right here. It has a handle and a crossbody chain. This is the color in camel. And this is what it looks like. Very cute, 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 cute. And then the classic flap in jumbo. This is my favorite, favorite handbag of all time too. The length of this handbag is around 11.8 inches. The height is around 7.9 inches and the depth is around 3.9 inches. And this is what my BD looks like. Very classic. So the Business Affinity, as you may know, is a seasonal bag, which means that it only comes out in limited amount um, or quantity and it only comes in a specific season. It only comes in specific colors in different seasons, so you might not find that color that you're looking for anymore if you miss a season unless you look in the pre-love market. And this one right here values at around 3,500 US dollars before taxes. And this one is really great. I really love the business affinity because you have, you get really good value for the money for Chanel, of course, um, because the inside of the handbag is lambskin leather. It is not canvas. So I think for that price point, it is really good for a all leather handbag from Chanel. For the classic Chumbo, this is in their permanent line, which means that you can get this handbag usually most see any time of the year. However, sometimes you have to be weightless because the demand is a bit high for classic bags. Um, handbags so sometimes you'll have to be put on a wait list but you definitely can find this color or even the light beige color the red color in any size that you want to because it's available year-round this bag right here was a graduating gift from my parents a couple of years ago and I love 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 this jumbo so so much it's such a great bag honestly I have to say um, if I remember correctly a couple weeks ago when I was researching up the price um, I noticed that Chanel has increased their price on their classic handbags again and this bag right now retails for around $5,900 for the jumbo size which is so expensive if the price keep on rising I'm thinking that within the next couple of years the Chanel classic um, bags or flap prices is probably going to be around the same prices range as the Hermes um, Kelly or Birkin's handbag. It might take a couple years for Chanel to reach that level but as it is going right now it seems to me it's heading towards that way. So if you are interested in getting one of these but you don't want to pay full price for the handbag you can always go into a pre-love market and try to search for something that is very similar and I'm pretty sure you'll be really happy with it too. So this is what the two handbags look like side by side. As you can tell they are both equally beautiful however they have very different aesthetic to them. One is more rectangular and the other one is a little bit more square with round edges and this one right here is a little bit shorter in length however it is a little bit taller in height and the jumbo right here is 11.8 inches so it is a little bit longer than the business affinity as you can see 
I love them both. Both of the colors are very easy um, to match with a lot of things, a lot of colors in my wardrobe. So I love both of these colors. Can't go wrong with them. So let's see. I think before we move on, to, I want to go into a little bit of wear and tear. I had this jumbo right here for a while so I can tell you more wear and tear on it because the business affinity I've only owned it for a couple months so I can't really go into too much details about that bag however I've owned this for a couple of years so I definitely can testify the quality of the jumbo flap right here I adore this bag if I haven't said that enough in this video you can tell this bag is in miraculous condition I don't use it as an everyday bag I do use it a lot um, I just don't use it every day so the wear and tear on it is not as um, prevalent as it would be if somebody was wearing it on a daily basis however I think it held up pretty pretty well um, as you can tell the corners are still intact they're not scruffed off at all this is what it looks like at the bottom of the handbag and I take really good care of my handbags so a lot of time I don't lay them on the floor when I'm out I try to sit it on my lap and then you know if I have um, a space for it uh, a seat or something like that next to me then I probably go to place it next to me on that seat in the back as you can see it is still very new not really worn down or any wear and tear on it at all as well as in the front right here as you can see it's very very nice still very plump and puffy just like the way I got it when I first bought it home the inside though is lambskin so I have a few um, scratches on it I noticed but nothing where you can't really buff it out with that little cloth that it comes with um, when you purchase the handbag and even on the let me see even on the hardware I don't know if my camera can zoom in that far because I turned the autofocus off um, but you can tell there's not a lot of scratches it's still very shiny still very new looking um, the straps itself too the gold has not faded or anything like that so still in great great condition okay, so this is the condition of my handbag on the inside as of right now as you can tell I don't know if the camera can pick it up but in this corner right here I have a little bit faint scratches from probably my nails and the keys that I put in there I'm supposed to put my keys in a pouch before I put it in the handbag but oftentimes I don't do that so sometimes it gets scratched I'm okay with it because I feel that if you're going to invest your money into a designer handbag you might as well enjoy it and use it as you please so that's fine to me whenever it has light um, scratches into the bag and this is what it looks like on the inside the inside does not have that much scratches I don't know if it's because it's kind of dark in there and I don't examine it as much as the uh, front flap right here but um, it looks nice to me still so overall I'm really happy with the wear and tear of the uh, Chanel Jumbo right here I feel that it's still in miraculous condition I still love the handbag and it definitely worth every penny I paid for it I didn't pay for it but my parents paid for it so I'm very grateful to have this in my back collection Alright, so moving on to the Business Affinity. I've only owned this for about six or seven months now. And the bag, I don't wear it every day because when I work, I don't wear any of these bags. I just wear it on the days when I'm off um, and running around to do errands or going out to a dinner date or something like so. Um, so this bag is still in really great condition. Let me show you what it looks like on the outside no scratches or anything the caviar leather is my favorite it's so resistant and even if you have faint scratches on it you really can't tell so that's the reason why i love caviar leather and this is what it looks like in the back 
no color transfer whatsoever. I tend not to wear a lot of dark colors with it, but I have worn it with darker colors um, items and I have not seen any tra color transfer from that. And as you can see at the bottom, the four feet on my bags is still quite new. There's not a lot of scratches on it because I really don't usually place my bag on the table or on the ground. Like I said, it's usually in my lap. So definitely still very new for um, the feet at the bottom right here. And of course the four feet is amazing because it helps the bag from getting um, kind of dirty under here. It kind of stands it up above the surface maybe about a little bit like so so it that really helps inside of the handbag still look amazing there's not a lot of scratch that is in here because i put the same keys the same set of keys that i have in this bag and the jumbo and so for some reason the leather on the jumbo i'm thinking because it's burgundy a darker color that's the reason why the scratches show up more than it does with this color right here because in here when i look I don't really see any scratches in the bag. I'm not sure if it's because this has only been used for six or seven months versus the other handbag that's already been used for quite a while. So before we move on any further into the video, I just wanted to call your attention to a little small details that I found on these two bags right here. So this is the chain for the Business Affinity and this is the chain for the Chanel Jumbo. And side by side, I hope it can pick up on the camera right here. As you can tell, the gold color or hardware on the uh, Business Affinity is a lot lighter than the Chanel Jumbo right here. I don't think it's because the Jumbo is in black and then the Chanel um, Affinity is in the camel color. I just think that they did that on purpose because the Business Affinity is meant to be more modern, more daytime wear, so they wanted it to look more modern. That's the reason why they use the lighter hardware on that bag. And the Jumbo right here is meant to be classic. It's meant to have a little bit of vintage look to it. So that's the reason why the gold is a lot uh, more yellow, a lot brighter than um, the Business Affinity. And I kind of like the use of the separate gold color on both bags because it does give you a bit of a different feel um, when you wear both of them. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about style. The classic Chanel Jumbo is very classic, very elegant. It is a girly handbag. When I wear the classic Jumbo, I feel like I'm very feminine. I feel like it's very regal. Like, I don't know, it just gives you a feeling of very luxurious and looking. I love the aesthetic of it. It makes me feel very girly, like I said, when I wear the classic jumbo. The Business Affinity, I definitely feel more casual when I wear it. I feel like it can be worn in a lot of different occasions for daytime, whether it is business uh, meetings or whether it is for casual outings. I can just take it. It's very similar to the Pochette Matisse by Louis Vuitton and so I feel like it's more wearable during the morning. It doesn't attract as much attention to the handbag. So the business affinity is geared towards more of a girl boss, at least to me anyway. I feel like yes, I'm ready to do some work, I mean it and I'm going to get something done. <laughs> The Chanel Classic Jumbo gears towards more very feminine, very girly, with a classic look. You can never go wrong with the classic look because it will forever be a staple in your wardrobe. So I love both of the handbags. They both serve different purposes for me and I love wearing them in different situations, whether I feel girly boss or whether I feel feminine um, and classy. Those are the situations when I will whip them out and wear them. However, if I only could choose one handbag to retain in my collection forever, forever, ever, ever, it would definitely be the hands down classic jumbo. I love, love my classic 
jumbo it is so so timeless and I would definitely say that if you have not invested in a Chanel and you definitely want to invest in a Chanel, then the first handbag that you should invest in would be the Chanel Classic Flats. You can use, you can do the mini size, you can do the small, medium size, um, small size, the large, medium size, the jumbo size, the maxi size. I think there's an occasion for any of them and any of them would definitely make a great addition to your timeless wardrobe. So that is a lengthy video and I talk way too much like I always do but I just thought it would be a fun video to do a comparison so that you can hear my thoughts after I've been owning these two bags for a while now. I can definitely tell um, the difference when I wear them which occasion would fit better. I definitely have to say though the business affinity is a lot lighter than the Chanel Jumbo because it has less hardware and the hardware on the business um, affinity to me seems a little lighter than the Chanel Jumbo so when I wear the business affinity in the morning or daytime it doesn't weigh down my shoulders a lot like the other Jumbo does however like I said still love the look so I definitely will keep them both thank you so much for tuning in to this video today and joining me if you haven't subscribed please do so so we can see each other in the next video and don't forget to enter my giveaway it's only a couple more days before it ends so until next time I hope to see you later bye